Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is the iPhone, and today we're gonna be doing the long awaited matchup chart for Bridget. As you guys know, Bridget got supremely buffed in the last patch, and there's a lot of question about what her matchups actually are. And I think we've had enough time in the patch to actually decide that. I actually already made a matchup chart pre patch, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of doomer on this matchup chart, but I think it was actually warranted. I think, I think this is still pretty accurate for what it was last patch. Bridget was not a good character last patch, she got significantly buffed, so don't think I'm like downplaying or anything but you can see bridget loses most of these matchups right that only has two matchups in her favor and i think thankfully things have changed a lot we're gonna do it the same exact style as matchup charts advantages you know bridget wins pain is bridget severely loses right and i guess we'll just go in the order down here obviously bridget is neutral that matchup is five five it's not one of those lopsided seven three meter matches you know i don't believe in that so um anyways first up we have soul i actually think um Slay advantage of soul. Bridget has some tools that are really good against soul, specifically 5S, walls out soul very well. You can just kind of like spam this button and soul has to take a lot of risk to get in, right? He either has to air dash in, which is kind of tough because, you know, 5S has good recovery or he can like preemptively 6P and you can kind of play around that. So you win neutral pretty handily, right? Your mix up's better than his. The main issue is the damage discrepancy. And if he gets it once, he could just kill you. But I think it's just hard for soul to get in. And it's hard for soul to press that advantage that i think um i think it's the slight advantage also like 214s is really good against soul because he doesn't have anything to like contest it really well he just kind of has to like slowly work his way in which means you get free mix-up opportunities yeah I, I think this is a pretty decent matchup but again the damage discrepancy between these two characters is kind of what keeps it a little bit close all right, so Kai, Kai, last patch I said disadvantage. I guess I should talk a little bit about how I categorize matchups, right? Being able to play a good neutral game where the opponent has to approach and doesn't have very good options to approach and you can abuse 214S is what makes a really good matchup for Bridget, right? And when you start taking away those options, right? You start taking away the 214S, you start taking away the need for them to approach. I think the matchups get kind of hard unless you just like completely outmix them and that sort of thing. Kai is, is kind of weird because you have a lot of advantages over him, right? You have good mix. You have longer reaching buttons, maybe not better buttons because the reward he gets off some of his buttons is really extreme. But his fireball is actually pretty good because if he makes you block a fireball, then your 214S goes away and it's kind of hard to play that. He also just kind of controls the airspace that Bridget wants to be in pretty well, whether through air fireball or just some of his jump normals. So neutral is very tricky in this matchup. This matchup's better than last patch though because you don't have to worry about stun dipper on block right you can kind of throw 214s and then be able to block the stun dipper which is a big thing like kai could literally just stun dipper through some of your block strings last patch he can't do that now but i think just because the neutral is like kind of anyone goes I, I think it's neutral but you have good tools in neutral like the instant jump h or instant jump fireball is pretty good against them and then you can start doing the instant jump h's once you have the fireball out and then once you kind of get in you mix but again kai has the the damage van his DP is pretty good against safe jumps because it's hard to cover both backdash and the DP because it's on the slower side. So sometimes he's one of the harder characters in the game to, to mix with Bridget. Also, Fuja arc is like kind of hard to stop with Bridget. Like a lot of characters can like press a really quick jab. Bridget has to press her six frame 5k. Your reward's crazy off of it, but if your reactions are just a little bit slow, then, then you lose the game, right? So that's kind of annoying to deal with too. I think Bridget has all the tools to beat Happy Chaos, right? Scooter is very good in neutral versus him. Your mix-up is very good, and he doesn't really have a way to get out of your mix-up. You have a DP, which is really good against Happy Chaos pressure. Really good buttons for contesting Happy Chaos neutral. Good ways to deal with clone. However, Happy Chaos is busted. <laughs> None of this really matters. Well, it matters because Happy Chaos isn't our worst matchup, but because Happy Chaos is just that busted, I think he's in his own tier in this game. This is still a disadvantaged matchup, but it's not as bad as, you know, most of the other characters in the cast have a matchup against Happy Chaos. So Maze probably like the second most buff character in this patch. So she has a lot of good things going for her, specifically the RPS after S Dolphin, which to be honest, didn't really impact Bridget that much compared to other characters, right? You still have 2P to check immediate options and then like your backdash punish is still like 5S. But this matchup's weird because you theoretically win neutral, but Maze instant air dash JS is really annoying to deal with because you don't have the best way to contest it. May could literally do this. And if you 6P'd, oh, you trade now. You actually can win some. 
Okay, you don't you don't win as good. I mean, yeah, it's still like not as great, but yeah. So I guess um you can actually beat or at least trade with IEDJS, and if you're early enough, you can win. So pre patch, you just got B in every time. So that's uh that's really nice. But again, May got good dolphins. May has good neutral. The buns can counter hit Bridget's extended hurt box, and that can be kind of annoying to deal with. And of course, May wins the damage game. So because of the damage discrepancy, I think the, the fact that May's quite a strong character, neutral is like kind of even, but you get the mix up. She has the damage. I, I think it's neutral. I think it feels pretty even on both sides. Our Axel. So again, what I think makes a bad matchup is not being able to throw 214S. And you cannot throw 214S against Axel. It's really annoying because he can just make you block Rensen. He can just make you block a normal. However, you actually have some pretty good answers against Axel. Your 5H is really strong. The fact that your 5H leads into a full knockdown into a mix on counter hit is really good against Axel because Axels like to spam their 5P. You press 5H, that just goes away. But some of the issues with this matchup are Rainwire is really good. So Rainwire can just like risk free call out like a 5H, right? He also has longer range than you and stuff like Rensen or like your, his jump S, which are pretty annoying to deal with. But once you get in, you kind of mix, right? So I'm debating between disadvantage or neutral. I think these kind of zoner long range characters give Bridget trouble, but out of all of them, I think Axel's the, I don't know, least bothersome just because of 5H, but and he dies pretty quick. I'm gonna put it neutral just because I'm on some Bridget Hopium right now, but I think this could be a disadvantage too. Chip. All right. So Chip, I think is um another one slight disadvantage or neutral. The thing about Chip is he's really good at whiff punishing, right? And your buttons are pretty whiff punishable. So if you do something like a 5S into a 5S, Chip is going to dash 2K and you're going to have to hold that. It's really hard to whiff stuff against Chip. And I think Chip is one of the most underrated characters in this patch. I think he's easily top five. He only got buffed since last patch and he's the best abuser of positive bonus and he gets it way too easily. Very good character dps are annoying to deal with bridget but i think it's more just comes down to neutral it feels like if you play against a really good chip it just kind of feels like you're getting suffocated you whiff one thing and then they press their advantage after but because bridget has so many things that they have to react to you can kind of mitigate that some just by playing a very very neutral all right, so Pot, I think this is one of uh, Bridges' best matchups. You can kind of do whatever you want in neutral. You just kind of throw 2 one for s and then you just dance around him, right? And he doesn't have the mobility to really contest 2 one for s You would think he could just flick the 2 one for s on the pullback, but you can just poke him before the 2 one for s comes out, and he's really slow, so that's not hard to do. So that's not really a factor. So basically, you just kind of dance around him in neutral, make him block, and then do mix. And you're really good at deleting heavies because every single knock down goes into another mix that's really in your favor so the extra health doesn't matter too much obviously pot can delete you but usually the main way that happens to me is i screw up right and just because i'm screwing up in a matchup doesn't necessarily mean it's bad one thing you have to look out for is back mega fist it's it's really good um especially against like scooter pressure he's probably like the best character in the game at contesting scooter pressure but because you went neutral so heavy you just don't need to really go for it right so again i think that's a heavy advantage for for Bridget. Faust. Now, this is one of my least favorite matchups with Bridget. The main issue is Faust can duck your best pokes, which are 5S and 5H. So even if you're doing them in the block string, you just get low profile and it's hard to deal with, right? And the mental stack between like reacting to item or reacting to scalpel can be pretty tough because even if you're just a little bit off on reacting to item toss with 5H, he ducks, he gets, he gets a punish, right? And so I think because of this, Faust wins neutral pretty handedly because you kind of have to dash block with Bridget, which Bridget's not really a dash block character. She has decent options out of it, but really you want to be playing the 214S game. You want to be flipping in. You want to be zoning with pokes, right? But instead you kind of have to go in. I don't I don't like that against Faust. But again, you do really good mix. The other thing is like J2K is really annoying to deal with as Bridget. A lot of characters can like preemptively put out a button to deal with J2K and Bridget doesn't have that. You would think like a preemptive 5S or a 5H would blow up J2K, but it doesn't. Like J2K just wins. So I think it's the, the fact of ducking the normals and J2K makes this matchup somewhat difficult. It's funny because a lot of Ram players are like, oh, Faust is easy. You just whiff punish everything. It's like, yeah, that would be nice. I would do that all the time, but Faust ducks my buns, doesn't duck Ram buns. Makes no sense to me. Faust should be able to duck Ram buns just so Ram players can feel our pain. You know, that's all I ask. All right, Milia. Um, I think Milia is neutral too. You would think this matchup would be in Bridget's favor because Milia bombed here, you know, all that crap. But I think 
It's kind of like the Milia versus Axel syndrome, where Milia can dance around Axel really well and use the speed of Milia to get in, kind of like Chip. Also, like Bridget's air to air is like it's okay. It's really committal. Like a JS or a JH are pretty committal because they have a lot of whiff recovery, and our other normals aren't really that good air to air. And because Millie has all this extra mobility, doing stuff like 214S is good, but there's a lot of ways to avoid it. So it's hard to actually trap Millie into a 214S mix up. I think your mix up is better than Millie's. Your reward off of it is better. Your block strings are better. So even though Millie might slightly win neutral, I think you have the advantage in the close game. So I think uh, I, would, I would call this neutral. And you have a DP, which is, which is always good. Zado, I'm also going to call neutral. I think this is disadvantage last patch, but Bridget's offense is just so much more potent that I think makes it neutral. The neutral in this game is in this matchup is kind of weird. I think Zado somewhat wins, but you also have really good ways to kill Eddie between like your TK fireball and just throwing out a 214S that it becomes decent. And both these characters offenses are like so cracked out that whoever gets hit wins <laughs> pretty much. So it just kind of feels like a crapshoot in both senses. I could see it being disadvantaged just because like I think Zara has a slight edge in neutral, but I'm on Bridget Hopium train, so we're gonna say neutral. So Ramothal, I think, is Bridget's worst matchup this patch. I don't think I'd put it in pain though. I think last match is in pain. I think I'm gonna leave pain completely alone this uh this time because I, I don't think it's that bad. The reason this is better is your 6P is actually useful against Ram before you can you really use 6P and it's really frustrating. JS would clash, 5S would clash, 5H would clash. So you can actually use 6P in this matchup. And your offense is just cracked, plus Ramathal damage is slightly nerfed. So the issue with this matchup though is you both kind of want to play in that 5S, 5H range, except Ram's reward is way better <laughs> so you're both kind of doing the same thing from neutral rams rewards way better than it just kind of steamrolls right like you can literally just get hit once and lose the game because then you go in the positive and then you gotta hold this positive mix where bridget i feel like has to hit ram with all a couple more times but in exchange bridget has better mix and a dp so all right so leo um i'm debating between neutral and disadvantage I'm gonna put disadvantage just because I think Leo is like low key busted. <laughs> so he can go with the other low key busted characters. This is a weird matchup because Bridget actually has a lot of good things against Leo. Her DP might be the best one against Leo's because it hits sort of on both sides. So Leo has to take a lot more risk when doing mix up to Bridget. Your pokes are really good against Leo, specifically 5S is pretty annoying to deal with. It's hard for him to air dash over. But Fireball is decent but you have good counters to it, right? If you're anticipating S Fireball, you can air dash over. If you're anticipating H Fireball, you can scoot and then break on reaction. So it's pretty hard for Leo to play neutral, except he, he does have a couple tools, right? A preempt of like 5H is really good and his reward's really good off of it. And because Bridget's not really disjointed, you do have to play around that button a lot. And, you know, run up sweep is surprisingly good because it also deals really well with like flip mix up. So he has some pretty good ways to deal with like you flip in so you have to uh be pretty wary of doing that and when you're wary you get pushed to the corner and then you just get mixed right and leo leo pressure leo mix is still really really good really event advantageous leo flash kicks really annoying to deal with it's kind of hard to get that 2k 2d knockdown on him because most of your hits are going to be like from a 5s and then you just get a regular knockdown and it's like well now i gotta deal with flash kick rps not that fun so i'm gonna put in disadvantage i can see it being neutral but i think just because leo's a little bit over tuned and a lot of your knockdowns don't actually give you safe jump in this matchup it feels that I, i'm gonna put it here all right nago all right this is gonna be probably the hottest take of this matchup chart i actually think bridget beats nago this patch so even last patch i didn't think it was terrible because you out neutral him which is not something a lot of characters can say 214s is really good he doesn't have good ways to navigate he's really slow the common ways people out navigate 214s is like run forward really quick and make bridge a block which nago can do that but you need blood or you jump and nago's jump is not very good right so you can really abuse 214s against them these heavy weights like the health doesn't matter as much as you think because you're just gonna keep putting them in the double layer 50 50s and stuff right and you have a dp to contest with uh, naga's pressure you also have some of the best round starts against naga whether it's 5p or like a delay 5h naga has to be pretty wary of doing his common options against you which is which is good right so i think it's just a combination of you doing well in neutral even if they block your mix it's really annoying for like naga to get out of your corner stuff because like one of the common ways to get out of like bridget corner pressure is air dash over her like 
like 5H, right? But Naga doesn't have an air dash, so you can do a lot of like jump H pressure and then roll in and get, you know, more mix. So I think because of that and the Naga nerfs, I think the Naga nerfs are really significant. Um, I, I'm gonna put this in slight advantage. All right, so Geo, I actually think um, might be slight advantage for Bridget or maybe neutral. I'm gonna put slight advantage for now. Geo doesn't have the best contest outside of like being really fast for 214S. So you can kind of abuse that against her and she has to come in and then you can press your advantage. But other than like using the system mechanics, she can like drill. But again, that's you should be able to count that with 5K and get a full combo. But her mobility is a pain to deal with. I just think your mix up so much better than Geo. Like even if neutral might be even, your close game is better than Geo's and the mix up is a lot more rewarding that maybe I'll put in slight advantage, but I guess if you play like a really cracked out Geo that can like react to all your stuff, it might be it might be neutral because like actually getting that knockdown against Geo might be a little a little painful. All right, Anji, I think is um, probably advantage. Again, I, I think I had this uh, in my last tier list too. I think all of Bridget matchups got better, including the Anji matchup, even if Anji got buffs. It's just, you can steamroll. Yo-Yo is very hard for him to deal with. Spin's effective against like your 5S and 5H, but this is a matchup where you press normals. This is a matchup where you back up, you press 214S, and then he has to deal with it. And he can't spin it. He can't really do much other than like what other characters can do. And his mobility is not that great. So you just kind of abuse that go in and you do mix you have pretty good counters to fireball for example neutral if they're trying that you just 2s 236s really good against spin 214s really good against spin just flipping into spin is your your turn too <laughs> So like you have a lot of good options against spin and you have a DP. Anji doesn't like DPs because after Fujin, it's pretty hard to deal with. So I think I think this is your advantage, but Anji didn't get did get buffs. And I haven't played that matchup that much. So maybe it's slight advantage because, you know, counter counter super is really annoying to deal with. But and Anji out damages you. And I, I definitely do not think this matchup is as good as pot. I will say that. All right. So, Eno, I thought this was neutral last patch. The thing about this matchup is like neutral's actually pretty hard to play e against Eno, right? Because some of the characters that have really good neutral against Eno, so take for example Soul, have moves that can stop air dash approach and stroke or like a dive kick. And so Soul's 2S is really good at stopping all those moves. And a lot of characters have these kind of like cover multiple option moves against Eno. And that's kind of what gives Eno a lot of trouble in neutral. But Bridget doesn't really have that. You have to kind of call out certain options and then run your offense. And Eno's neutral is actually quite effective against Bridget. Also, HCL is like kind of a game changer in this matchup because HCL can kind of like whiff punch certain things from Bridget, but also it's really good preemptively because it beats Scooter, it beats Yo-Yo Toss, it beats 214S, it beats a lot of the things that Bridget wants to do. However, it's not foolproof because if you just wait a little bit with Bridget and you 5H, then they just lose the game. <laughs> so because of that, I think I'm still going to put in neutral, but I could see it being slight advantage because I think, you know, slightly undertuned this patch, but I still think Eno's like kind of underrated as well. I'm going to put her in neutral. I actually, you know what, take that. I don't think, I don't think Eno's undertuned. I think she's like solid mid tier. Don't listen to the Twitter propaganda. So Gold Lewis, I think actually uh, Bridget as a slave advantage against, and I never thought I'd say this. I think the reason it's up to slave advantage is when the Thunderbird nerf helps a lot. You could stop it before, but that required 50 meter and it's like really hard to react to with your killing machine super. Now you don't have to commit to that, right? So you can just throw a 214S, run away, hope the thing comes back and hits them. If it hits them, then they're just messed up. But you can also like poke with a 2S underneath the bird. You can try to like jump to 236H, you have so many more counterplay options to Thunderbird and neutral that it's a lot harder for him just to get that free turn. And I think your neutral against Goldus is pretty good. 2H is like God button in this because he can't jump over it. He can't make, it's really hard for him to make it with and your reward off it's pretty good. Your pressure is just really strong against Gold Lewis because his stuff is slow. And yeah, 5S is a really good button. You're really good with punishing some of the stuff. So I think you just win neutral. Um, the only thing you really lose out on is like if you mess up <laughs> Gold Lewis just kills you because his reward is just really high you know you guess wrong once with a dp you just die right so i, th I think that's kind of what keeps Gold Lewis in it but i think you win neutral now and that's that's really welcome 
All right, Jacko, I'm gonna put an even as well. The thing about Jacko is it's weird. You guys both have like stuff to counter each other's stuff. Having a DP against Jacko, really good because he can stop like 2D cancels and that sort of thing. And you can like do certain OSs to like, you know, blow up some of the Oki. Your neutral, like 5H is really good. Jump H is really good against Jacko. Just doing like an instant jump H and sort of thing can stop her minions. You also have really good options. Like let's say you hit a minion and you can cancel into either 236S or Scoot to like full up pressure Jacko or even just 2 3 6 as a neutral to kill minions is pretty good. However, she has like some annoying things to deal with, right? Sweep's really good because it like low profiles a lot of your stuff and you have to be really wary of that. And her reward for like even just blocking a sweep is pretty good because like I get a DP and if she bases the DP, I just, I'm just dead, right? Her reward off mix up is better. And neutral is, I think, slight and still in slight Jacko favor because I think Jacko's neutral is quite strong and you don't have like a, you know, you don't have like Fukio Beyblade or something that's like completely ignorant against her um but because i think your mix up's really good against her you have really good ways to beat her super anti-pressure and it's like the neutral serviceable enough that i think this is a neutral i i think your up close game is better than jacko's up close game you have better defense and better mix up than jacko so like even if jacko like slightly wins neutral you can kind of like edge out some reward there but also jacko rewards generally better so yeah i don't know this is maybe this is like the worst part of neutral along with zato these these two i'm kind of unsure of jump d is pretty annoying to deal with too it's like a very good like i don't know what the fuck to do i'm just gonna press jump d with jacko all right biking i think it's slight disadvantage um i don't think it's that bad though this is probably like the closest to neutral matchup and actually honestly i'd rather play against a biking than like a zato or jacko but i think on paper biking does better because i think parry is really obnoxious to deal with on pretty much all your setups you have to like really play around it and when you play around it it's like you obviously get no mix right so i think parry is like better against bridget than it is most characters because like other than like a break setup and then you throw the yo-yo like you don't really get that much parry save stuff as opposed to like ram or eno or you know characters like that i think it's kind of hard to like just deal with like a run up 2h or something because again 2h low profiles of pokes has really good range and then like if you're if you're hedging against that she can just like id in and even if she like guesses wrong a couple times it doesn't really matter because it's easy to get out of your mix with parry and uh she just has to guess right once and you're dead she can just like keep flipping coins and the risk reward is gonna like eventually Eventually come out in your favor but i think 214s is a kind of obnoxious to deal with with biking so you can abuse that you do have some parry safe stuff that you can kind of like integrate and then condition them to just block and then you can run your mix so i i, I think it's like it's a matchup i'm good at but i think in, in theory it's like disadvantage just because the numbers are so in biking's favor testament i think is this is a, like these three matches right here like zato jacka testament i don't really want to play but i think they're all like even in theory if you're just like cracked out because like i think you have pretty good options to deal with their, some of their stuff right j236h in this matchup is very very good instant jump h very good in this matchup your 5h just pressing it after like testament does like a button into fireball is like really obnoxious and then once you get that knockdown you just kind of go in but it feels like you have to play really precise to navigate all the zoning and it feels pretty like easy for testament to get crow against you and then you have to play that game and it feels like you have to react to a lot of stuff where testament can just like kind of chuck stuff at you right <laughs> so i feel like if your reactions are good you can definitely win the matchup but it feels like you're the one having to react to everything testament does and testament just does whatever the heck they want so yeah i think in theory it's a pretty good matchup for bridget but i don't like those kind of matchups where you're just like getting reaction checked and neutral and you have to you have to react to a lot of stuff properly testament 6p is probably the one of the most annoying 6p's to deal with because it covers really far really high up and it's kind of hard to bait the 6p so you have to like play it very patiently too you just can't flip in you just can't like go for 6p baits and that sort of thing all right sin i would say maybe neutral it's definitely way better in last patch skewer now beats elk hunt which is huge so he can't just like reversal elk hunt all your block strings yeah i don't know maybe it's a slight advantage i, I think people still underrate sin a bit since 
obviously wins out in risk reward. Alcon's super nauseous to deal with because it low profiles your pokes and it leads into a good uh, situation for Sin. But you can kind of play the 214S game against Sin as well and try to like stay out of that Alcon range. That's typically how I play it and just try not to get cornered and then run your run your mix, right? Even though like I think your mix is better, you win neutral. The threat of Alcon is just, it's so good and the damage from Sin is quite good that I think it keeps us in neutral. All right, so yeah, I think in conclusion, Bridget's pretty solid. Um, so I, I kind of have Bridget as like high tier this patch, like maybe like right outside the top five. And this doesn't quite look like a top five tier list. This looks like a mid tier, but it's very obvious that Bridget's better than last patch, right? The matchup spread is a lot better and maybe I'm, I don't quite have enough Bridget Hopium. And I think some of these matchups like Chip, Leo, Biken, Happy Chaos, I think in theory could be neutral if you're just like extra cracked out and some of these might be able to move up. So, you know, Bridget still being the newest character, well, in the newest characters still has some tech to develop and maybe over time, some of these matchups will actually trend upwards and we'll see the, the true potential of top tier Bridget. So guys, just so you don't think I'm capping, I asked a few of the best Bridget players in NA to also answer this question. And I think it's pretty cool. You know, I actually didn't look at their tier list beforehand, but this is Witch Hazel, um, one of the best on the East Coast with Bridget. And I think their list actually looks pretty similar to mine. You see, there's not really any deviations more than one character. The thing that sticks out is I don't think uh, Chip and Leo are like quite disaster tier. So maybe I have a little more hopium, but it's yeah, you can kind of see that like it's that mid tier matchup spread now the one i also want to show you is keishu i think keishu is super underrated player technically the number one bridget on rating update because he sniped the spot and then rating update went down he, i think he paid him off yeah keishu uh pretty similar idea where it's uh I don't know, he used a lot of weird things, but pretty similar matchup chart, right? I asked him about the soul and pot. He said this is actually Bridget's favor. He's just trolling. Um, but yeah, very similar matchup spread too. You know, obviously a little more hopium on stuff like Leo and Kai and, and Zado, but I think overall pretty similar. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. You know, are we are we Bridget Hopium Train? Do you guys agree with this list? Do you think your main gets destroyed by Bridget? I'm just capping. Let me know. And if you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, helps out the channel. Helps us make more videos like this. So really appreciate uh, anything that you can do to help support the channel. Anyways, guys, appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.